In this video tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to calculate the mean or the average value, the standard deviation as well as the standard error of the mean of a data set within Microsoft Excel. So what I have in Excel are my data on the left hand side in cells A2 to A10. Firstly, let's go ahead and create the mean. So the mean or the average is the sum of the values divided by the number of values in the data set. So what you want to do is to firstly click on an empty cell where you want the mean value to be. And you want to enter the following formula. Equals average open bracket and then you want to click and drag on the data itself, starting at the first value all the way down to the bottom value, and then enter a close bracket. And finally, press the enter key to calculate the mean value. So the mean or the average value for this data set is 3.8. Next, let's calculate the standard deviation in Excel. So the standard deviation is a value to indicate the spread of values around the mean value. So a higher standard deviation value indicates more variation around the mean. So again, we want to click on an empty cell where we want the standard deviation to be entered. And then this time you want to enter the following formula. Equals STDEV, open bracket. And again, you want to click and drag on your data, starting at the first data point all the way down to the last data point and then enter a close bracket and then press the enter key. So the standard deviation for this data set is 1.4. So finally, let's calculate the standard error or the standard error of the mean for the data set. So the standard error is a value that corresponds to the standard deviation of the sampling distribution relative to the mean value. Now, unfortunately within Excel, there isn't a formula to do standard error. So you have to break down the formula into different components. Now the actual formula for standard error is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the n, and the n being the number of values in the data set. So let's calculate the standard error in Excel. To do this, you want to enter equals, and then you want to do the same for the standard deviation, so stdev, open bracket, and then click and drag on the data, and then close the bracket. And then you want to divide this by the square root, so to do the square root in Excel, it's SQRT, and then you want to open bracket, and if you know the number of values, you can simply enter the number, but if you don't know the number of values in the data set, say if your data set is very large, you can get Excel to calculate this for you by doing count, open bracket, and again, click and drag on the data set itself. Then you want to close the bracket for the count formula, and then close it again for the square root formula and then press the enter key to calculate the standard error. So the standard error for this data set is 0.5. So in this video tutorial, you've learned how to calculate the mean or the average, the standard deviation, as well as the standard error of the mean for a data set in Excel. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.